Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the productivity tricks on how I made 11.5 paper mat. Okay, so let's open up the settings first. And let me show you the most interesting things that we have. Uh, first, find the accessibility and features. And now uh, we have the model window and the super hub. Let's begin with the multi window. Thanks to that we can open up mm, the apps in the floating windows. Uh, and, for example, mm, in the uh, multi-window uh, dock. Mm, and also uh, in the split screen. But more about it in a second. Uh, and now. Mm, how to open up uh, those apps? Let's begin with the floating window, for example. Uh, which can help with the multitasking uh, on your device. So let's say uh, we want to take notes let's say in that way click on agree click on get started and here they are and also at the same time uh, we want to serve the internet so let's launch the browser uh, and now to open the app in the floating window we need to drag from the downside into top right corner and now release your finger and now you can see that uh, the app appear in the floating window and we can use both apps at the same time. Of course, we can also resize our window to change its uh, size and it's really good because we can take notes on our big screen and we can also at the same time uh, search something in the internet. Really, really useful feature for people who like uh, multitasking. So floating window is like a must have. Of course, we can uh, change the position also on the screen. In here you can also see some information, you can minimize the window when you uh, drag it into the edge. Okay, mm, you can change the position on the screen. You can open uh, it up in the full screen when you click on that icon. And when you click on the second one, it's minimalizing and it stick to the edge. If you click on that, it appears again on the screen. Uh, when you slide to the downside, the bin uh, icon appears, you can release your finger and you can close the app thanks to that. Okay, now let's go into the uh, split screen, which also uh, is really good for multitasking, because we will have our screen uh, exactly split in half and we can use both apps at the same time. So to do it, uh, again, uh, when you have one of the apps opened, let it be notes, uh, scroll this time to the left side, until this uh, icon appears and release your finger. Now select the other mm, app for the split screen view. For example, mm, we can open up the... I would like to find the calculator. I think it's under the tools. Oh, actually, I need to find it. Uh, where it is, because it disappeared. Okay, so maybe let's go... Uh, not the notes, but something else. And uh, maybe the optimizer, I think it will work, yeah. I'm just showing you how to do it. Uh, okay, in here also we have uh, an instruction, what you can do. Uh, if you click on next, got it, you can, uh, when you hold on uh, that uh, icon, you can, when you slide to the left side, it will open up in the floating window, but back into the split screen. And, and now, thanks to that, we can use uh, both apps mm, at the same time, just like I was saying. So we can quickly perform a cleanup, and on the left side of the screen, we can create a, a new node. Uh, using this mode is really uh, intuitual, and I'm sure that uh, you uh, you will handle it. It is pretty, pretty mm, simple. Uh, to use this uh, mode. We can also even draw and we can quickly switch and do other things. Uh, my per uh, my personal and my favorite um, layout is uh, when we are using, for example, the calculator and the notes, because let's say that we need to count our taxes uh, and no grocery and we need to um, uh, pay somebody, for example, your, your friend, because we owe him money and we can uh, quickly um, open up the split screen view on the left side we can take our uh, notes, what we need to do, and on the right side we can count uh, our money and make our mm, 
tasks and uh, uh, calculations. Pretty simple. Uh, back into the settings and the multi window, I think I have shown you everything in here. Yeah. Oh, actually, there is the uh, multi window dock, my bad. When you slide to the uh, from the edge and when you hold a little, uh, this icon appears. Uh, in here, um, you can also see how it looks. Uh, multitask with ease, open multiple apps in floating windows, uh, in floating windows, split screen view, or a combination of both. Click on Got It. Uh, in here, we have a list of apps that are uh, available to use. But give me uh, a second. I just need to get rid of the thing. Okay, it appears. Uh, and now, uh, as we click on one of those icons, it will appear in the floating window. Just like that. Pretty simple. Uh, so thanks to that, we have a quick access uh, into our uh, floating uh, window. And you can also click on that icon to customize this bar. And you can add more apps into this bar. For example, let's add the recorder. Uh, but I think we can need to drag it into the bar. Uh, no, we need to click on that plus button. And now we can select which apps we want to add into this bar. Again, I'm saying this is really, really simple. Uh, and it's really... Um, I'm sure that you can handle it. Okay, and the last thing is the super hub. Uh, not the last, I'm sorry. Uh, is, the, uh, is the last thing in the accessibility features. And here we have the uh, super hub. Now we can touch and hold the images, files or selected text. Then drag them to Super Hub to store uh, temporarily. And now I'll show you how it uh, works uh, in example of the photo, uh, how we can quickly uh, store it in that in that hub. So let's launch the mm, let's launch some photo mm, in here. Uh, let's say that one, and we need to click on that because this is like an article. Uh, in here, and now we should be able to drag this uh, photo. So simply hold on it. Now drag it right in here, release your finger, and you can see that now it's stored in our hub. So Super Hub is uh, used for, uh, you know, uh, selecting the uh, items. Uh, temporarily, of course, but it can uh, help some people. Uh, to organize uh, their uh, screen time, uh, I mean, day-to-day -day usage even. Uh, okay, and now let's go into the settings and Huawei Assistant and let's go to the AI voice, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, thanks to the AI, uh, we don't need to do uh, everything on our own. We can simply uh, ask the AI uh, and give him a task uh, and it will be done automatically. Mm, you can also read about it, uh, look something up, start a call or set an alarm. Just say what you need and AI voice will do the rest. Uh, it saves a lot of time and also uh, looks uh, pr pretty cool uh, when we don't need to do anything. We just only give uh, tasks using our voice. Uh, make, sure that wake, uh, make sure that wake up with power button is enabled. And now to launch the AI, we need to simply hold the power button for mm, one second. And then it will appear on the screen. And, and let's give him some task. Let's say we want to set an alarm uh, at, I don't know, 6 p.m. tomorrow. And the title will be uh, Do the Ironing. That's an example. Uh, and let's give AI a task to set an alarm. Set an alarm to do the laundry uh, at 6 p.m. tomorrow. Okay, due to AI, uh, it has been set. Just to make sure, let's open up the uh, alarm. App, but first I need to find it. Okay, uh, you can see that the alarm has been successfully set. Uh, the only thing that uh, wasn't set is uh, its title, but I think we cannot even uh, change it. So uh, you can see that uh, it actually uh, went uh, just like it should. And the mm, alarm has been set. 
Now let's try something else with the uh, with the AI. Mm, let's say we are hungry and we need a recipe uh, for a meal. Uh, we want to eat chicken uh, and we need uh, we need uh, a recipe how to do it. Uh, give me a recipe which contains a uh, chicken in it. Okay, now click on search results. And in here we have a whole list of the recipes that are mm, available completely for free and we have access to them thanks to the AI. Uh, we didn't have to uh, search it manually, everything is served for us. Alright, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.